Watch out, these spoilers are coming in hotter than a Drogon dive bomb. So if you aren't ready for the Game of Thrones finale, this is your last chance to hit the deck. Oh, On this IM Debrief, presented by Progressive, we break down why Tyrion, Jon Snow, and Arya are going to have to team up to take on Khaleesi's claim to the Iron Throne. Although way back in Season 7, Episode 2, entitled Stormborn, Danny made this very insistent declaration. I am not here to be Queen of the Ashes. After a one-woman fiery raid on King's Landing in Season 8, Episode 5, The Bells, Khaleesi has essentially become... Queen of the Ashes. That's totally on Daenerys, or writers Benioff and Weiss. The people of King's Landing had surrendered, but she let her rage get the best of her, because this queen is madder than hell and... I'm not gonna take this anymore! I didn't be fair. Everyone around her has died, been killed by her, double-crossed her, or decided that he's the one guy in Westeros who isn't into incest. Seriously, Jon Snow, we wouldn't even judge, because dating your aunt has to be better than this. When Daenerys rampaged, she crossed the line with Jon Snow, Tyrion Lannister, and Arya Stark. So now the finale is shaping up to be a three-way race to see who can stop Khaleesi first. I'm Arya Stark. I'm going to kill Queen Cersei. Her bloodlust may remain unslaked, as a collapsing castle did the job for her, but to get revenge for her extra crispy friends, Arya will have to work with Jon and Tyrion, because Danny still has Drogon, and they won't be as easy to take down as the Night King was. Arya seems like a prime candidate to slay the dragon, while Jon Snow will probably take the reason with her route with Auntie Danny, and that may or may not end in his demise. But it'll definitely give Tyrion the open shot to get his retaliation for the innocent victims of King's Landing and the death of his beloved brother Jaime. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. Jon Snow's inaction to stop Danny's death from above and his futile attempts to convince his soldiers to stop killing everything in sight need to fall made his claim to the Iron Throne shaky at best. I don't want it. While Arya seems best suited to continue her career of killing because, well, frankly, she's a natural. I'm going to kill her. Now, you may think Tyrion will be on the hot seat when the dust settles, but once a hand, always a hand, so perhaps he'll give up the chair to his ex-wife, Sansa Stark? That is, if there even is an Iron Throne left to sit on. Remember, Danny vowed to break the wheel, and now that she's got her back against the wall, she has to decide if she can rely on Grey Worm and the Unsullied to stand by her side, no matter how fiery it may get. Whew, those VFX artists are gonna have to work double time to redo the opening titles after that one. So no matter who wins this Game of Thrones, we know that during the finale episode, nothing else matters. This IMD Brief is presented by Progressive, which critics are calling an easy way to save on auto, boat, motorcycle, home, and more. Check out Progressive.com for how you can save, and stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief for more trending stories from Westeros.